oceans are so majestic and mysterious. They often deceive us with the plethora of hidden creatures, spooky wrecks, and unraveling secrets. Let's dive in to explore these shocking ocean discoveries that no one was supposed to see otherwise. Vampire Squid Lurking in the darkness beyond the reach of sunlight is the vampire squid? Although they are referred to as vampires, they do not suck blood and are found in the mesopelagic zone of the ocean. Their skin is a dark red color, and the skin between their tentacles resembles a cape that's worn by a vampire. These squids are different from other cephalopods because they are the only cephalopods capable of living their entire life cycle in a zone with minimum oxygen, with saturations as low as 3% in that part. These dark lords look absolutely stunning against the darkness of the ocean. Whale almost eats diver. The fear of getting eaten by a shark or a whale always persists for newcomers swimming in the ocean. You never know when they might appear with an open mouth while breaching the surface. It's quite terrifying to witness. This diver surely experienced a similar situation when a huge humpback whale breaches the surface just inches away from the diver. You can hear the amusement and fear in the voices of the onlookers. The horrors would be unimaginable if he had ended up in its mouth, as the chances of the whale throwing him up would be low. This video shows danger remains even if you lose the fear along the way. Deep Sea Whale Rescue Human activity is destroying marine life. There are still rare moments when these animals trust humans to help them. One such moment was caught on tape near the Sicilian Aeolian Islands, where a group of coast guards worked tirelessly for days to free a massive sperm whale from a fishing net. The whale calmly trusted the divers and let them cut through the net. The whale had somehow gotten badly tangled with the fishing net. If this net hadn't been removed, the poor whale could not have survived for much longer. These acts of kindness can restore our faith in humanity. Divers Ride Whale Shark While some people may be working on saving marine animals, there are other people who seem to please in torturing them, like these buffoons, who think it is fun to torture an endangered animal like this. The whale sharks are on the verge of extinction because they are illegally caught for their meat and oil. These animals have a really high market value that has led them to become an endangered species. And instead of being kind to these gentle giants, people are riding it. And apparently, it's a fun activity as a lot of people are doing it. These people are better kept in a prison and miles away from such innocent animals. Before we move any further, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you can keep watching our amazing content. Exploding Sea Worm This has to be the most intriguing video of a marine creature. The divers went for a night swim near the Cozumel Island of Mexico and captured footage of this weird worm on video. It was found floating in water until it suddenly exploded. According to reports, this is how these worms reproduce. This process of reproduction is known as epitaki, and it is exclusive to certain marine worms known as polychaetes. I know some of you must know more about this exploding worm, so what do you guys think happened to this worm? Was it reproducing, or was that a defense mechanism? Octopus Eggs Hatching You see these huge bunches of grapes? Do you know what these are? They are octopus eggs. Yes, octopus lay eggs which oddly look like grapes. The way the octopus babies hatch out of their eggs is kind of satisfying to watch. Baby octopi are really adorable. Look at these tiny babies, so cute. Sadly, only 1% of these babies will make it to their adulthood, and the rest will become food for other animals. I guess that's how things are in the wild. Underwater Fluorescent Disco Corals are not only homes to sea creatures, but add beauty and serenity underwater. Some of these corals can produce their own fluorescence as well. Since intense ultraviolet rays from sunlight can be harmful, they absorb the UV, get charged, and emit fluorescent light. This light isn't visible during the day to the naked eye, but if the light produced is intense, then you can see it. 
Otherwise, you can swim at night with a UV light and yellow glasses. You would be able to see the amazing rave show happening under the sea surface. These beautiful corals surely give SpongeBob an amazing view down there. Deep Sea Scavengers The deepest, darkest parts of the ocean hold even darker secrets of life. Nautilus ROV captured this stuff of nightmares. While diving in the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary, California, a four to five meter long baleen whale carcass was seen laying on the sea floor, and a ton of scavengers were mercilessly eating it away. Scavengers like the eel pounce are chomping the skeletons of its blubber. On the other side, the Osidax worms were devouring the lipids and fats from the bones. I wish this gnarly sight never would have made it to the surface. Now I won't be able to sleep properly for the next few days. Eye of Fire Fire and water are two polar opposite elements of matter. Their combination is seldomly seen in nature. The faulty gas pipeline created a mesmerizing scene near the Gulf of Mexico. A leak in the pipelines created a swirling pit of fire in the middle of the ocean that burned for five hours as the ships kept on dousing water onto the flames. When this footage made it to the internet, many people thought that the gates of hell were opening, while others were more concerned about the damage caused to the marine animals. But thankfully, everything was controlled on time, and not a lot of damage was reported. World's Most Battered Shark Great whites are some of the most amazing marine animals, but I wonder what happened to this poor shark? What kind of battles he has been fighting all his life? This shark was seen swimming peacefully near the Neptune Islands of South Australia. With all these scars and marks, he has to be the most battered shark I've ever seen. A real warrior, I guess. What do you think this veteran Great White went through to get into such a condition? Underwater Volcano If you're anything like me, you too would be mesmerized to see underwater volcanoes spewing lava. I never knew it would be that satisfying to watch. This is once-in-a-lifetime footage of a submarine volcano that is actively emitting lava. But there is something more intriguing about this video. These weird shrimps feeding on the bacteria that is produced in the sulfur-infested water. These shrimps have shown adaptability to survive in high-temperature waters, which shows how amazing and resilient these life forms living in the oceans are. Sardine Dance the monsoons bring cold water to the Indian Ocean. The cold water is rich in oxygen, which attracts marine animals of all kinds. But the biggest attraction is the arrival of billions of Indian oil sardines. Look at the synchronization among this school. There are billions of these fish, and they are all so well coordinated. By doing this perfectly synchronized dance, they keep the predators at bay. But do you know there is one predator they can't keep away? Humans! Everything was going great for the sardines. They were dodging the predators and thriving until the arrival of humans. Zombie Starfish Oh, look at this beautiful starfish! Wait, what? Stop, why is it tearing its own arm off? This poor starfish is sick. This disease is known as sea star wasting syndrome, and almost 40 species of starfish have been affected by this disease. The symptoms start with refusal to eat anything, followed by lesions on their bodies. And then, they start fragmenting their bodies, which ultimately leads to their death. This disease is associated with a virus, but is not fully understood yet. This is one of the most gnarly events I've ever witnessed, and definitely nightmarish for most of you as well. Giant Flasher Squid Flashing lights may not always define the presence of humans, and could be something completely unexpected like a playful flasher squid or the Dana octopus squid. Although they don't resemble the typical squid, they are some of the biggest ones with the biggest eye-to-body ratio. This video was captured by an ROV, which was being operated by the scientists at the NOAA, or National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. These squids are so rarely seen that first it was identified as a whiplash squid. This flashing of the bioluminescence can temporarily blind their prey, giving them a chance to easily catch them. Sharks sleeping 
you might have seen a pod of whales sleeping. But have you ever seen how sharks sleep? A diver caught a group of white-tip reef sharks taking a blissful nap. The sharks can switch between sleeping and wakefulness throughout the day, but they are never really unconscious. Not much is known about their sleeping periods, but this footage is amazing nonetheless. When I first saw this video, I got confused as to what was happening to these sharks. I thought someone had disposed of them at the bottom of the sea. Anyway, what do you guys think about this rare footage? Glowing Blue Vortex On December 26, 2011, NASA's Terra satellite made a discovery that still baffles scientists to this day. A satellite picked up a huge vortex stretching over 100 miles in the South Atlantic Ocean, which is basically the size of a state. It was glowing in blue color, which experts believe is due to it feeding on tons of phytoplankton, causing it to glow blue. This kind of vortex can be created if an earthquake of a high magnitude hits the ocean floor. But miraculously, there were no reports of any earthquakes that day. So what do you guys think this thing is? A vortex or something more sinister? Human Skeleton Near the island of Antikythera, Greece, a wreckage of an ancient vessel lies 50 meters under the water. The site contains numerous artifacts, but what divers discovered underneath are rarely ever found in the oceans. Human remains, probably of a crewman aboard this vessel. Dead bodies tend to decay easily over thousands of years, but these remains preserved under the vessel for 2,000 years. Yes, you heard it right. It is a 2,000-year-old skeleton. You can hear the excitement in the screeches of these scuba divers. <laughs> After all, it is one of the best and the worst things you can find, depending on your profession. Ancient Fortune While treasure hunting off the coast of Florida, this diver stumbled upon the treasure of his lifetime. Some hundreds of years ago, a Spanish fleet carrying a lot of gold was lost in the storm. After that, every now and then, people would find a coin or two around the coast of Florida. But the fortune gods decided to bestow this treasure hunter with a fortune worth over a million dollars. The guys found 51 gold coins and an ancient gold chain using his metal detector. I know what I'm taking to the beach on my next visit. A metal detector and some diving gear. Tent like tentacles. While exploring the waters around Southwest Baker Island in the Pacific, a group of marine biologists were given a sweet surprise by a unique octopus that blew up like a tent to say hi. But for real, I feel like spreading like that is some sort of defense mechanism because it blew up when the ROV was moving towards it to make itself look bigger. This species of octopus is known as Cirrothoma magna. It is a deep sea species of octopus. Since this is a deep sea octopus, it is rarely seen. There are several species of this octopus that are still unknown. Googly-eyed Stubby Squid This googly-eyed squid is not a kid stuffed toy, but a living, breathing, real squid. The scientific name for this squid is Rossia pacifica, which honestly goes right with its personality. These squids live in the deeper part of the ocean during the summer, where they breed. But in the winters, they move to shallower parts of the ocean where the currents aren't too strong. This species was most recently discovered in 2016 by the EV Nautilus that was exploring the ocean bed off the coast of Southern California. This little guy is so adorable that I just want to squish his squid. New Big Fin Squid Footage Deep sea squids can sometimes be cute while oftentimes terrifying. This alien-like squid is known as the Big Fin Squid or Magna Pinna. It, like many other deep sea species of squid, are rarely found by humans, as humans are not able to reach the depths of the ocean where these guys dwell. With nearly a dozen confirmed sightings, still very little is known about these creatures. So you can imagine the excitement of the marine biologists when they saw this alien swimming near their ROV. Giant Pyrosome Have you guys watched the movie The Abyss? The divers have finally found the jelly-like alien from that movie. Look at this long, hollow, tube-like creature, known as a giant pyrosome. 
actually, it's not just one animal, it is a colony of millions of sea creatures known as zooids. They freely float through the oceans, filter feeding on plankton. Our oceans are such mysterious places, we can't even begin to imagine what is swimming in the unexplored parts. Loch Ness Monster Has the mystery of the Loch Ness Monster finally been solved? Quite the mysterious discoveries have been made in unimaginable places using Google Earth. For instance, a serpent-like creature was found near Wolf Island in Canada. It has a long neck and a hump resembling that of the infamous Loch Ness Monster, which has fascinated people over the myth of its existence. A number of pieces of evidence that debunk this mystery. Some are unexplainable, and others are just straight-up fakes. It is unclear if this is the ultimate proof of the existence of Nessie, or if it's just another hoax. Do let us know your opinion in the comments. Predatory Tunicate the oceans are filled with weird and macabre creatures, many of which have evolved like predatory tunicate that are like Venus flytraps underwater versions. Tunicates are usually the filter feeders, but this species has adopted the life of an ambush predator. Just like the Venus flytrap, when a small crustacean or fish drifts inside, it quickly closes its mouth until the prey is digested. They live by hooking themselves against the canyon walls of the deep seas. They produce both eggs and sperms and release them in the water. But if no other tunicate is around, they can reproduce on their own. Absolutely amazing, isn't it? Wrecks of World War II When it comes to wreck diving, Palau might not be commonly known, but it is the home to many wreck sites from World War II. It holds the aftermath of all the destroyed Japanese fleet destroyed by the US Navy, making it a well-known diving site with historical resting place. There were as many as 60 ships that were sunk near the island. The wreckage is not limited to just the ships. There are sunken planes in that area as well. Although the wreck from all the ships isn't around anymore, there are still a good amount of sites there with crystal clear water. Have you ever seen sperm whales interacting with humans on such a level? Today's open discussion is about a pod of whales that decided to come to the surface to meet their human friends. These tourists were enjoying their cruise and whale watching when suddenly these whales decided to give these people an experience of their lifetime. Can you see how the whales are interacting with the people on the boat? Although whales are pretty friendly towards humans, such moments of friendliness are rarely seen in the wild. Some people believe that the whales were just going about their business and had nothing to do with the humans, whereas other people believe that they were playing with the humans. What are your thoughts about this unique interaction? Sea Cucumber This weird-looking marine creature is known as a sea cucumber. They have an elongated body and thick, leathery skin. They reproduce in a rather strange way. They reproduce both asexually and sexually. While reproducing sexually, the females release eggs into the ocean, while the males release spermatozoans. Eggs are fertilized when they come in contact with the spermatozoan in the open water, and asexually, they reproduce through body fission, which means they divide from one body into two. So weird! Sunflower Star this little guy is a sunflower star. It is around three feet wide and has 15,000 tube feet. It is like the Usain Bolt of its kind. It is a terrifying predator, but it has a weird way of eating its prey. It closes up like a Venus flytrap. Looks like someone is showing these marine animals a lot of documentaries on botanical life of the land. The sunflower star can detect decaying matter, and when under attack, it can detach its arms from its body and make a getaway. They can grow back their arms as long as the majority of their central body is unharmed. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.